skies above this city park, an after work race directed from the comfort of lawn chairs. It's an escape from life because when, when you're in the goggles, you're in your own world. You know, your, your focus is what you're seeing, where you're going and how you're gonna get there. This group is racing drones or quadcopters as they're also called. It's a test of hand-eye coordination and it all comes down to speed. I always like to build those drones that go as fast as you can go and as, as hard as you can push them and, you know, see what you can do with it. And the motto here seems to be push it until the drone hits its limit, or in this case, a tree. Or even a gate. Did I break the gate? If you're trying to get better, you're always going to be crashing and breaking stuff. It's fixable, some uh, super glue and a vise and we'll get it going again. Because these drones weigh under two kilograms and they're doing it as a hobby, they don't need a special license from Transport Canada. They are supposed to have a permit to fly in a city park. They don't have one, but say they take the necessary precautions. We always have one guy spotting. So we'll go, hey guys, there's people out there and we'll just stay away from there. We don't, we don't want to get close, we don't want to hurt anyone and we definitely don't want to give, you know, this hobby a bad name. Because it's still very new and they want to grow the sport. This weekend they're holding a national drone racing cup in Edmonton. Outside of Canada, drone racing is a much bigger and flashier deal. The inaugural World Drone Prix was held this March in Dubai, where more than 100 teams competed for $1 million in prize money. In the U.S., there's a drone racing league with promotional videos billing it as the sport of the future. It's professional drone racing. More than 20 people have registered to compete at the event in the city this weekend, including this group now doing a few practice runs. It's uh, going to be the first uh, competition I've ever been a part of, so I want to see how I stack up. And just how his drone does, too. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Edmonton.